we're back with another video. How's it going? I'm your nerdy bearded buddy, and today we are looking at Fear the Night. So before we begin, Fear the Night was sent to me for review by Eagle Entertainment Australia. If you want to check them out, the link to them is in the description below, and I'll tag them in the title of this video. Thank you, Eagle, if you're watching this, for sending me the review copy. You guys are amazing. Fear the Night was written and directed by Neil Labou. It is scheduled for a 3rd of July release in 2024 via DVD at JB Hi-Fi, Sanity, and Digital at Google Play, and all the other fun stuff like that, so keep an eye out. Fear the Night follows eight women who gather for a bachelorette party at a remote farmhouse in the California hills. They're soon interrupted by the arrival of masked intruders who surround the place and begin shooting arrows at the home and the guests. Now it's up to Tess, our main character, a military veteran to lead the women in a final stand as they fight back to save themselves and survive the night. Oh boy. Okay, so... I really was not a huge fan of this movie. So obviously Maggie Q, she's a really good actress. You know, she's from Nikita. I really liked her in that. She looks great. But I think this movie has let her down. On paper, this film should have kicked ass. Maggie Q tearing up. However, this film just feels generic. The characters are very uninteresting and generic. The story is simple and generic. Honestly, we've seen it a thousand times before. Like literally as to why the intruders are there, they wanted to steal things, money. Dialogue in this film is just really not good. It honestly feels like a first draft. It's clunky. It doesn't feel natural. It makes the characters look silly. And it's just cringe. The action here is decent. But there definitely needed to be a lot more of it. Maybe it's because the trailer shows it to be way more action packed than it is. And if the writing on the characters was far stronger. Making this like a character piece. I could have forgiven this. But it's not. So because of this. The film just feels very throwaway. Of course, it's always good to see Maggie Q on our screens, but that's not enough to save this movie. Maybe if you're a diehard Maggie Q fan, you might like it. I don't know. Anyway, that was my thoughts, my review on Fear the Night. Did you like it? Why, why not? Did you see it? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like the video, and share it around, and I'll see you in the next video.